You guys ever wonder how they stay stacked like that and not ever fall off? Stay tuned and I'll let you know. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I do appreciate it. And I'm going to make a quick video for you guys and letting you know how I inspect my trail when I pick one up. And here's a trailer right here for you that I'm about to pick up. Because Inomoto could be a really dangerous account to work in if you don't know what you're looking for or if you don't inspect something. The reason being is because these are two separate pieces. This here comes off of this chassis here, right? So this chassis will have all the functionalities that you will find in a regular trailer, such as lights, reflectors, um, braking systems, uh, the whole nine yards, right? Um, here, this separates, right, by a big crane uh, when, um, when you unlock everything, and I'll show you the locking mechanisms all throughout, but this then separates. You can see one right over there. And what it does is it picks it up from the chassis and loads it up onto an actual train. And then it gets transported to its destination. Okay, so the very first thing is I do, I'm back here, okay? Um, so what I do is I just connect my lines, okay? And my power source, okay? So this is for the power, and I'll connect this here, like such. And the reason why I connect the power, the power lines and the air lines first is because while I'm going through my, uh, my inspection, I want the brake chambers, which is at the tail end on the tandems, to start filling up. Plus, I could inspect rather quickly if there's any air leaks. All right, so that's the very first thing I'm gonna do. So let's go ahead and, and supply this with air. And we're just gonna push in the air supply there. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, uh, click on this lamp check here. And what that does is it's going to um, uh, show my lights. You can see how it's flickering right here. So it's doing a lamp check, okay? Do you hear that whistle? That's air going through the lines and filling up the chambers. If you can hear that whistle. All right, so while I am here, I am going to see, you're gonna see in the front, this is this push lever and this secures the front end of the container. All right, I don't know if you can see that, right? It's kind of locked right now and it, you know, it's secured, all right, right now. So I can't pop that out. But what this does is it goes through a hole. Can you see that? And you can see the pin that it's going through. That's what's holding the front end of this container from the chassis. So that's why you want to have a zip tie like it shows right there. See the zip tie right in there securing it so that with the vibration while driving around, this may go back here, okay? And then it, and it's going to release it, right? All right, so, so this is secure, so we're gonna move on. You also wanna check your lights, make sure that works. Okay, the very next thing is, since I'm walking by, because um, you wanna start from front to back, all right? If I'm gonna pass it, I'm gonna inspect it. Looking at my fifth wheel, okay? Making sure that the handle is all the way in, making sure that there's no gaps between the skid plate and the chassis, we go in the back of it, underneath the cha uh, chassis, and you can see the shaft around the kingpin. Okay, so the very next thing to do is raise the landing gear. So that's what we do. All right, underneath, you're gonna notice there is a uh, side reflector and turn signal right there. So you can see that's working properly. While I'm back here on the tandem side, you wanna make sure the pins are secured. This here, okay, it, it will be very, very high pitch noise if the air is low. Once uh, air gets filled up, uh, that beep will go away, okay? okay? So that's just, so you're aware, like, let's say you're driving down the road and you hear a piercing sound, that means you're losing air somewhere, okay? Those are the air lines. So you wanna make sure they're secured and not dragging on the ground. Now we come to the tires. Some of you guys see me doing one of these things. 
A lot of people thump it, okay? These are quick fill, all right? They constantly fill with air. There's no air leaks or anything like that, so I don't have to worry about that. The only thing I wanna know if it's a flat. So right now, it's hard, hard, hard. That's all I care about. I also wanna inspect the threads, okay? Uh, and if it's how worn it is, right? If it is a flat, right? This will be wobbling off, off the rim. That's how I know if I need to change that, okay? Also, you wanna check the springs back there, making sure that's good. Make sure you have a mud flap. So now we come to the rear of the chassis, okay? So it's a little different to secure the rear of the chassis, uh, the rear of the container, um, than it was in the front. The front had those, the pins, right? It went in. This twists, okay? So right now you can see inside, it's kind of facing me, okay? What? So in this position, this whole container can lift through that pin. But when we twist this, we're gonna lift this up, because this is what's gonna secure it, okay? So we're gonna lift this up, and we're going to turn, twist, there you go, and now it's locked in place. While I am back here, there's no much room here, but while I'm back here, I'm going to check the lights. Remember, we did a light check earlier, so now we're gonna inspect the lights. And we wanna make sure that there is a seal. Whatever we do on one side, we gotta do on the other side. Make sure we have a mud flap. We're gonna check our tire. Okay. We're gonna check to make sure the reflectors are working, the turn signals. All right, so now when we're done with that, one last thing to, to look for, the front pin. And there it is. You can see it right there. While I'm here as well, I would check my inspection. This is when it, is, this is when it was inspected. And this is good one year from this date, so September of this year. I wanna match my number, uh, this is the chassis number. I wanna match this with my bills along with the trailer number itself, which is right there. All right, sorry about that. I had to relocate because another driver was actually waiting to pull up next to me to pick up his trailer. But So now we're on this side, right, of the trailer once again. All right, and now this is where I go ahead and pick up my bills. To verify it right so i'll pop this sometimes i won't have a seal lock that back up i want to verify that i got the right trailer which i do okay this, I'll just keep that with me all right and typically that's all i would do and then i would just do my loader call on the app and then i drive to my uh to the customer what you didn't see me do and I did it deliberately, is that I also, when I inspect it, when I walk this way, I also glance upward. And there's a reason for that on both sides. This side. And also, by the way, guys, if you have a hazmat, you want to make sure they're not ripped, torn, uh, damaged, held by um, uh, tape other than clear tape. So you want to make sure you have them on all four sides. So there's another thing you want to inspect. But I also look on top here as well. And there's a reason for it. And that goes back to um, earlier when I showed you the containers being stacked. And this is what I'm looking for right here. I don't know if you can see that right here. This is called a double-ended twist lock. Okay. And this is what secures the two containers. Imagine this right here, but up there. All the way up there, I don't know if you can see that. All the way up there, right? So what this does is, uh, there's a slit right in here, okay? Um, and it just twists, in one way or another, there you go. So it will twist, okay, and lock it, and lock it in place for the container to be lifted up. And then this is how it's locked, right? So like the part of the container sits underneath these hooks here so it won't fall off so this i look up here because sometimes they have to when it gets unloaded from the trail uh, from the train the um the workers they have to make sure that these are removed 
if you're inspecting the trailer that you're picking up and you see one there still attached call somebody get rid of it because if this loosens up okay this weighs about 10 12 pounds this is heavy okay solid all right this lifts up and hits a windshield you're going to end up killing someone um if, if it hits their vehicle okay you can actually kill somebody with this it's a cool job cool gig but understand what you're getting into okay this can be a very dangerous job but you just have to do your job so that uh, you're not gonna put no one else at harm's risk but i wanted to show you this because maybe not a lot of people show this and they know what holds those two containers uh together but it's basically this thing here these stacked here on the contrary are stacked by hopes and prayers um so if god forbid uh you ram right into it the whole thing could tumble over right there there's no lock securing uh this stack here so that can be dangerous guys i hope you learned something today uh let me know but i have to head on out to uh my my stop uh, i think i took a little too long uh, too too long of a time to uh to get this video going but i wanted to bring that to your attention i figured you were you might be curious and uh but if you have any questions issues concerns please write them on the bottom uh in the comment field and please subscribe if you have not done so and share this information if you know anybody that will uh have any type of use of this information but that is all guys thank you so much and until next time Take care in a moto.